Hello, friends. Uh, as first, let me check the sound because in my previous life I had some problems, and just I want to make sure that live is alive. Wait, please. Okay, uh, again, hello friends, and today I want to focus to use the real power of the Comfy UI, okay? And uh, what is the real power? The real power of the Comfy UI is the ability for creating workflows and loading the workflows. So, if you are, uh, if you don't have enough knowledge to completely understand the stable diffusion and figure out that how it works and you don't have enough knowledge for working with Comfy UI or other extensions, easily you can use the pre-made workflows. Uh, and also I am trying to make some useful workflow and place them on my Patreon link. So, uh, for example, about this one, you can find some PNG files, okay? And now I want to show you how to use the pre-made workflow and what is the power of these workflows. Okay, this is my Comfy UI and this is my default preset. And for example, this is a workflow. Okay, th yes, this PNG file. I am double click and you can see the image. Okay, this is one of my workflow. And now I want to load this workflow inside Comfy UI. And after that, start to tweaking and editing the parameters to get a better result. But it is very, very good starting point. Again, I'm telling you that if you don't have any knowledge about stable diffusion, don't worry, easily you can use that. Just now, let me show you. I am dragging this PNG file inside the Comfy UI workspace. Boom! Here is the complete workflow that I have designed. Okay? And here you can see that uh, I have defined an input and I have defined the input for the style reference. And I have two controller here. This is my um, total workflow. I will, in this live, I will try to explain all the nodes. Okay, but don't worry. If you can't understand, don't worry. Maybe you can download the workflow and start to play with that exactly like this point. Again, let me show you. This is the default workflow in the Comfy UI. You can download the workflow from the Patron and after that, just you have to drag the workflow inside Comfy UI. Boom. Here you can see the all the workflow. Okay. Now let me start from zero. If I refresh, if I refresh, uh, refresh the page. Okay, here I have these inputs and let me show you the folder. Previously, I created this image inside 3D Studio Max and in my previous live, I explained it to you that what is these color codes and how you can assign these color codes and uh, easily with any software, you can create some image like this. I am using this segmentation as input and here there are some search through the internet i save the image files and for example this is my preferred design style i'm loading them and let me show you about the comments and about the prompts excuse me in this part you can write your prompts and here are negative prompts i used a template and here 
I use the rev animated checkpoint with this VAE. It's all you, it is not necessary to config anything. After that, you can do that. But for a starting, I'm working with this uh, preset. It is not necessary. So just you have to load your segmentation image with correct perspective and a, a style and press the Q prompt. After that, the Comfy UI automatically are is starting to loading all necessary information and right now the process is started here and you can see the result okay uh, let me explain something to you for example here you can see a door and these are detected, detected as, as windows. And uh, if you look, you can see that the door segmentation color is green. It's a specific code, uh, color code and also for sidewalk and other part, I use a specific color code. Just I think maybe the street is not correct, but uh, it also it can detect and sometimes it can fix some of my errors and you can see the result and this was our reference okay and if you want to get more similar result for example here is the arc and for example, here you can see the arc okay and if you want to see more chains in the design okay you can play with these parameters a strange line and a strange for segmentation it's very easy for example here i'm going to decrease the strange for line and decrease the strange for segmentation both of them and again q prompt in my design uh, input okay I use the square shape for the windows and also here you can see many windows with a square shape okay and this is the reason that you can see it's it is trying to use both of them and sometimes let me again do the Q prompt sometimes maybe it can find a place for using the for using these arc windows at top or for example here you can see it is it decided to make some arc here and also some arc here so every time that uh, you press the Q press the Q prompt you can get some different result uh, and if you adjust the width you can increase that and also you can decrease every time the result will be different but totally you can see that the theme of the image for the lighting interior lighting exterior lighting and other thing is uh, very similar to our reference okay and yes right now it is working and for example if you Pay attention to these design design details. You can see them here, similar, similar, and also about the roof tiles. You can see some of them in the design. Okay, but uh, don't forget that my design input is completely straight. Okay, and maybe it is better to use some design reference some design style that is similar to my uh, design base okay uh, for example a house like this okay let me try that just i am loading and press the q prompt
You can see some sloop on the sailing and also for the balcony and also you can see some um, wood pieces for supporting the aving and in this result also you can see some of those elements for example the framing around the window the color of the building front of the building yes and also the sloop of the sailing they are very similar now and uh, what should I do if I want to make some more variation per each cube? I can go here and increase the batch size, for example, to number four. And this time when I am pressing the Q, it's going to create four different versions. So if you don't have enough knowledge about these parameters, just you can play with the input, with a style reference, with a strange line, and with a strange segment, okay? And also you can adjust the batch size. I think it could be a good point for starting. <coughs> and... Okay, we have them. This is the first option. This is second design. This is the third and this is the fourth. And all of them are very similar to my reference. Mm -hmm. So let me do that with this design style and let me see what is the result. So uh, sometimes it could be a very good technique for design study because with a very, very draft input and defining the design style based on this dimension and based on the these building heights for the neighbors you can see some different options okay for example oh <laughs> yes i like this one <laughs> yes it's a great sample in less than really really in less than one minute just with defining these two parameters, you can get the result. And now here we have four options for our building. And exactly the neighbors uh, are in same height. The building is in same height. And yes. <laughs> now we have that. The pillars, the arc around the windows, balconies, the entrance. It's very easy. It's very, very easy. And uh, it's, like, it's like a magic. Yes, I think it's like a magic. And let me try some different building style. For example, this one. Uh, I tweak all of these parameters. I will try to explain them, but... Uh, I don't want to make you confused, okay? And I want to show you that if you don't have any knowledge, you can use this. And yes, it can work. It can work and it can detect the building and also it can detect the style. 
In this input, it is not, I think it is not working so well because uh, this is a two story building and with comparing the scale of the style with my input, I think it has, it has some problem. Yes, all of these options are not with true scale. So now I am trying to increase the strange seg and again Q prompt. This time let me change the batch size to number two. So it will be ready very faster. And Q. You can see that when I am increasing the string, seg string, exactly it is trying to keep the parameters from my design input with same scale, but in the same time it is trying to use some design term and some coloring term from my style. In this image, you can see a building with cement. You can see a building with brick. And also here is another part. And in front of the building, you can see some grass and stone and concrete. And also in these options, you can see the cement. You can see the brick. You can see the grass and concrete in both two options. Okay, so. If you spend some time, just sometimes, and try to select maybe a better style reference, maybe you can get a better result. So, uh, this time let me try with this style. For example, based on my experience, this image, I think it, it can get me a good result let me see but it has a benefit because all the buildings are in our uh, image and it is not cropped so some kind uh, so the the ai when the ai start to analyzing and extracting and extracting information from this kind of framings it will be easier Okay, okay, okay. Take a look. Take a look. We have the stairs. We have the entrance door. And in our design reference, around top of the windows, you can see some arc shape. Okay, and here you can see them. It is trying, it is trying to conform this design style. Now it is working like this, but I am sure maybe in early future, uh, it can work very, very better because all of the engineers and uh, the people that are working in AI industry, they are spending their time to improve these models and these algorithms and i am sure that in early future they can work very very better and with very more accurate processing but already for a study design i think it's perfect yes let me load another building style <laughs> This is the first time that I want to test this image and really I am not sure that uh, what is the result. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> you can see it is trying to deform the building lines. And it start to play with the neighbors. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
אוקיי. It's a nice try. It's a nice try and uh, yes. <laughs> so uh, this time let me play with the segment width and maybe I can see some better change. <laughs> It's very fun for me because uh, when I'm starting the process, really I like to see the processing progress. And I can understand that how AI trying to deform this straight building to something like this and yes it's very fun for me and let me do a try with this type yes I think they could be very similar but only the problem that in this style references it is to a story building and with this amount of the strange segmentation I think we will lose some information from our input yes you can see it is trying to merge the building and we lost the scale we lost the scale of the building Mm. So, with this amount of a strange, I think it can't get a good result because I told you it's a two story building and this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, six stories and trying to adopt it with this amount of a strange. It's impossible, so I have to increase the strange of the segment, for example, to a number like this. And again, let me see the result. Okay, this time it is better and Really, it is working like a magic because take a look to the lighting, lighting, tem, design elements, interior, the color of the walls, and also the door. And yes, <laughs> I think both of them are very, very fun. And um for exterior designing as a, I, I'm talking now as an exterior designer and architectural designer this kind of studies can uh, give me lots of inspiration to complete my design and I, I believe that it can help me to get more inspiration that for example how can I divide and uh, redesign this building with this uh, scale and with this dimension mm -hmm. this time i want to test this reference because i can see some separate materials with many details and let's see that how it can solve this problem this challenge <laughs> mm -hmm. okay I can see the wood sidings I can see the 
cement, railing, grass, step, door, window, roof. <laughs> yes, I can see all of these elements. And it is trying to design, for example, because here I have to separate a small window. In this reference, the windows are big with uh, some nice framing, but here you can see just it is trying, it is trying to match this design style. And I believe it's a good job. It's a good job for AI with this speed. And you can play and tweak these parameters. And after that, every time you can get a, another result. And also, after spending some time, you can figure out that what kind of a style reference could be matched with your input. It's very important. If you have any question or if you have any kind of challenge in your mind, uh, please let me know, okay? Because, or if you have any photo that you, you think it's impossible to conform that design style to a very straight and normal building, uh, you can tell me and I can do a test over that, or also you can download the workflow and do it yourself. Okay, this time, <laughs> let me start try with this building. And I'm very interested to see the data processing. All the windows are in position. We have some pillars around the building. For the sidewalk, it, now it's flat because in front of the building it's flat. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have it. Decrease the strange and start the processing one more time. But I like these details. <laughs> mm -hmm. This time I can see the stairs. The stairs are coming into the design and I have the pillars. <laughs> Actually, they are very, very separated and <laughs> nobody cannot connect these two different scale and also a style, but the AI can give us some inspiration for mixing these different design styles. Oh, let me check that with this building. At first, you can see that the sky color and many other things I are trying to shape from our style. It's it's a magic. And just imagine that if my form was a little similar to the style input.
take a look to the color of inside the glasses it's very good uh, let me this time try with this style Oh, <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Wow. Really, it's 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 like a revolution in architectural design, because you cannot do that with Mid Journey or any other softwares that now we have. Okay, now I'm talking about now. Uh, it's really. Really, it's AI. Artificial intelligence, really. It's AI. And... <laughs> Let me try another building. Hmm? For example, this building style. That completely is different with my form. Wow. <laughs> it remembered the window counts and window positions and it is trying to convert it to this style. Adding the A-Wing, adding the different stepped roof. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the design of the sidewalk also is amazing. And I can get many, many different variations. <laughs> Take a look at the plants. We have two plant here and also in these two images we have plant. But because the entrance is very small, it put the plant near the building. <laughs> uh, check this form. <laughs> And let's see what will be happen here. can't say anything actually I thought it's impossible to mix these two but now I can see it's possible it's possible if I play with the roof line and cut the facade connect them together mm. uh, about the building style 
This time I want to check that with this style. And also you can see many cars in the photo. So let's see that. Is it possible to understand where is the building? Yes. Yes. It's crazy. So you can see that I am not tweaking other parameters every time and just now I am trying only to work with these parameters and really this is power of the Comfy UI because you can make your workflow and after that it can help you to work very very fast At the beginning, maybe you think it's impossible, but after the processing, you can see, oh, okay, it's possible. <laughs> Let me try this building with water and other elements. Really, it's very powerful because you can see the lines flow. Okay, and... Oh! <laughs> the water, the arcs. This time, I want to test this style. It has many different balconies and is it possible to detect them? Yes, it's possible. Oh, wow. Let me try this photo. Normally, it is not possible to understand where is the building. It's very strange. But just I can understand. Okay, for example, this is the window frame. And let's see what is the result with this photo. <laughs> yes, the AI figure out that these are working like shades in front of the window and it tried to add them in front of the windows. And here I have the balcony that is go inside the building.
this time I have to decrease the string value. I think this green color is coming from this flag. Yes, the color code is very similar. And still it can work. Uh, let me try this style. Really, I can see many design inspiration in this output. Many, many. And let me check that with this design reference. Colors, plate walls, they are coming out. Mm -hmm. I decrease the string. Easily, I can see it is trying to colorize and deform the building at plants, at design element. <laughs> yes, these elements are existing here. <laughs> Detect them and Okay, now let me explain the workflow. I use the efficient loader with this parameter because also you can create this workflow on your own Comfy UI. Uh, but, uh, so I have to follow all the notes. I changed the width and height input with a custom node. Okay, and now I'm controlling all the size of the <coughs> control net input and output with these two nodes and they are going out uh, to upper scale. I have the upper scale node, they are coming and for example, I, I take this image, okay, as input I send the image to the upper scale image, it is going and also the input of the upper scale image is coming from these two nodes 
After that, the output of this upscale image is going to processing for uh, Linart and also it has an output <clears throat> for segmentation control net yes here you can follow the node going out so it's here okay it came from here and once that it went <coughs> To the segmentation node after that i sent it uh, to rerouter and i sent the rerouter <laughs> oh <laughs> it's going to be crazy uh but actually i designed them all of them step by step and i spent many days to fine tune this workflow and now this is the reason that it is a little complicated for me to explain that but totally if i want to tell you the key points i am using the segmentation control net i am using the scribble control net and also i am using the c coder and also i am using the style model and all of them are controlled with some uh, upscale models and this is the way that, that I decided to connect these nodes and I try to control the for example uh, if you follow here sorry okay if you follow for example these lines you can see that I'm going I'm controlling the control net with this input okay and also i'm going uh, i'm controlling the segmentation control net with this input it's coming from here and connecting to my control net extension uh, but uh, now this workflow is very tuned and it's very easy to watch and easily you can load your segmentation i designed it i designed this workflow uh, with using the segmentation method okay also, also i fine-tuned some different workflow for different input method and i will show you but this workflow is uh, especially tuned for segmentation workflow and it's very very useful for architectural design and yes it can help you again let me show you i'm going to clear everything from the um from comfy ui everything is clear and just you have to load this png file into comfy ui it's all and you have to load your segmentation and after that input your style and press q for uh, installing the comfy ui and uh, placing the and downloading and uh, placing the all necessary files in folder i have recorded three videos in my youtube channel you can find them and just just you have to install that also i am planning to uh, upload a version my version that i do the configuration over a cloud service uh, just i have to find a good cloud service because 
I think the storage data is about 100 gigabytes because I am using lots of many different checkpoints. And uh, if I did that, I will also share the link with you. And just you can download and extract my version. Uh, it's all. Yes, it's all. And during this live, you figure out that now it is possible to use the power of the AI for architectural design, interior or exterior. In another life, I will try to focus on interior design because a little this workflow should be tweak and change for some parameters. And after that, we can use that also for interior design. Okay, see you in the next live video. And again, it's very important for me to show all this process in a live video because you can figure out it's easy and it is possible to use. Also, if you don't have any knowledge about the stable diffusion or comfy UI, don't worry. Just install, drag the workflow inside comfy UI and place your input image. It's all. See you soon. Bye.